Okay, um, we're going to work on number seven here, and we're going to use the calculator to f help us find the line of best fit. Um, and also, we're going to have to look at the correlation coefficient and determine whether or not um, this is going to be a good fit for the data that's been given. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our graphing calculators here, and we're going to go to stat, which is right below delete. So we hit the stat button. We will hit enter on the edit option. And then we're going to enter in all of our values <coughs> uh, for x into our L1, our list 1, and then all of our values for y into list 2. So the first, first one's going to be negative 12, negative 8, negative 4, 0, 4, 8, and 12, 16, and 20. So we will have all these values entered into. Um, list 1. That'll be all my x values in list 1. I'll arrow over to list 2 and enter all my values for y. So I'll have 48, 42, 37, 31, 29, 30, 24, 19, 14, and 7. And one thing you want to just confirm is that you have the same number of values in both lists. Otherwise, when you go to calculate, uh, you could encounter an error. All right, so now we have both lists entered in. We're going to hit stat again, and we're going to arrow over to calculate, and then we're going to get, go down to number four. Uh, you'll see this lin reg or linear regression, and this is the sample equation that we're looking at. That's what we want to see is a slope intercept form of uh, you know, a line here. And so uh, we want to hit enter there. We will keep hitting enter till we calculate this and we come to this screen. At this screen here, you're going to see the sample equation. You're going to see your A value, your B value, R2 value, and R value. The R value is your correlation coefficient. And of course, your A and B are just the values that you'll plug into an equation uh, for the line. So, that being said, I'm going to have Y equals, and I'm going to round here, negative 1.2X. So that's my A value, and then X, and then I'm going to add 32.7, that's my B. This is my line of best fit based on the data that's given us uh, according to this calculation that we got here. All right, so that's our equation. And then the R value is a negative 0.99, I'm going to round this to 7. Um, and this is very close to a negative 1. Now, we talked about this before, and our, the R values, if R is uh, a negative one, it's going to be a strong negative correlation. If it's, strong, uh, if it's close to positive one, it's going to be a strong positive correlation. And if R is close to zero, there is no correlation. All right, and if you'll notice, this is close to a negative one, so this will have a strong negative correlation. All right, so we have our equation, we have our correlation interpretation, meaning that this is a good fit. Uh, this line is good. Uh, it's very close to a negative one. It has a strong negative correlation. All right, and that is your uh, example of how to use a calculator to find. Uh, your linear regression coefficients, um, uh, correlation coefficient, and somewhat of an interpretation of those as well. Uh, there's one other thing. If your calculator does not show the R value, uh, you simply go to second and zero. I'll raise this up here. Second, zero. You notice that says catalog. That's what we want to go to. And then you'll arrow down, or if you want to take a shortcut, hit the X to the negative 1 there. And you want to get down to the D's and go down to Diagnostics On. And you'll see that right there. And if you hit Enter, and hit Enter again, your Diagnostics will be turned on, and that will show your R values. In case your calculator is not set up to show the R values, uh, you can do that little procedure, and it will show them. All right, hope this helped. And... Um, do good on the test tomorrow. Please study, and we will see you guys tomorrow.